Hey guys, before I get on to the brief little uh, interesting bits before the intro cuts, uh, I want to just mention that don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell to keep up to date with all my videos. Videos. Also, also don't forget to give this video a thumbs up either. Now, this chapter of the Promised Neverlands, chapter 144, is a very interesting chapter. One that is really interesting to the point where it seems like this series is going to be coming down, coming to an end, to its conclusion, or it's coming to an end, because it definitely feels that way. Oh, sorry about that, my phone just went off. Uh, there, it's now on silent. So without further ado, let's crack down with the intro, like normal, but in this audio form format, and let's crack down into it. So, three, two, one. Hit the intro. <laughs> Okay guys, Promised Neverlands chapter 144 continued off where last week's chapter hit and it was a very interesting chapter indeed. No m mention about what type of promise has been made. Obviously we learned that the promise that Emma made uh, is the fact that um, she wants all the cattle children free and go to the human world. Oh god, sorry for this yawn. Human world. That's the promise. But we do not know, like it stated, what they, what she wanted, what the ma grand master of, of the demons wanted at the end of it. Don't know. Don't know. And they, and we won't find out. Emma's going to mention it at some point later on in another future chapter. But it's curious about what's going to happen. Now, we find out that Sun, 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 Sun Joe, or is it Sun Joe? Yeah, Sunga Joe literally pulled a number on on the other on the other cattle children that went after them. After them, Gilda and Don were there to help Musica and Sunga Joe because they didn't want to kill them. They didn't want them to get hurt or anything because they're friends and they've always been friends. That's how it's always been. That's how it's always been tested. Now this is the problem. So that's happening, and they've all and Gilda Gilda mentioned to Musica the plan, the problem, the plan, and everything. Where and then where Norman ends up finding out about about that. No, Ray, sorry, uh, learn about the continuation of 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 the plan plan that Norman was never going to derail from the plan. His plan was going to continue on full force. To a lot of things and that's where it continues on so it continues on that way and it makes me wonder where the hell has this story where the hell is this story going to go but what we've learning a lot since then is something interesting something that i've always imagined and really am curious about what's going to go on but at the same time it's curious about what's ever going to happen after this is curious about how this award's going to play out but other than that, this was an interesting chapter yet again for The Promised Neverlands, and I really did enjoy it to the T. And I really loved it. Loved it to the point where it was great, we've been a bit more informative, a lot of stuff is going on, everything's now leading to, like, it feels like it's leading to the climax. The story's leading to the climax. And that's something that I can tell is happening. It's leading on to the climax. And that's what I've always wanted. Oh god, sorry for the awning. But that's something that I've always wanted. That's something that I wanted is this series to get near to the climax. But this is the type of showing that I don't see leading into the ongoing phases like One Piece or Black Clover or My Hero Academia or even Shonugeki no Soma or Naruto. It's not going to be in one of those continuation long ongoing manga series. This actually... The Senseis... The senseis. The senseis. Caillou Sensei. Yeah, Caillou Sensei has really, really had this planned. From start to finish, he had everything planned, or she had everything planned. Kairu Shirai Sensei had everything planned from point A to B, and he was filling it out. It's probably gone longer than he wanted it to, or she wanted it to, but it's there. 
yet again, Pazuko's uh, art style was really showing again and was really uh, great here. Here, um, the art style stayed true to what they started off with. It hasn't derailed. It hasn't decided to uh, change uh, to more of the anime type designs because that's why I've noticed a lot in some mangas when it when their works get uh, gets an anime adaptation it literally what goes into the phase where they all right because this has an anime now I want to try and draw more uh, more anime viewers into the manga let me start drawing the characters it has they appear in the anime how the designs works in the anime because I've noticed that with Bleach because the first episode of Bleach uh, corresponding with the first chapter of Bleach, the character designs were completely different. Were completely different. You can r really tell. Once the anime started going, and in later chapters, the art style of Kubo started to more reflect on the anime's character designs more. More. The same goes with Fairy Tail. You could tell that in Fairy Tail as well. It's only one piece that hasn't really drastically changed and reflect the the manga that much in its designs but uh, Promise Neverlands have stayed true to their character models since the beginning they haven't uh, changed to the uh, upgraded to the anime's uh, designs yet but it's one of those things and um, and that's probably going to be another video that I'm going to discuss with later on is the discussion of of uh, of how art how the art and character designs of certain of characters in manga changes when there's an anime adaptation that's a video on its own that I'll probably do at a later date but not at this point in time uh, I will be on a two week break so I'm just curious about this uh, is that I did enjoy this chapter like always it's something that I've always imagined always trusted and it's always been the case this is going to be the first of of several future reviews that I'll be doing in the audio style uh, because I've always wanted to do it in the audio style and it's been something that I've wanted to try out several times because I just love to um, do it this way. I've, it's been one of the things I've always been interested in doing. So yeah, that was chapter 144 of The Promised Neverland. It's a very interesting chapter. I really did enjoy it and, and hopefully you guys as well did as well. Uh, like always, comment down below what you like to do, like about this uh, chapter, and like before, hit the um, i card and take a look at the scoring system and what you would have rated this chapter. As you know, I don't rate this chap ra rate the manga chapters, so it's up to you guys. What is your score of uh, of this chapter? And just do it via the i card from one to five, and I'll read out the scores for in the next video. I haven't really been doing that for other videos because. I don't know if I can get results in without scoring it myself, but um, that is it for me. So without further ado, like I said at the beginning of the video, if you liked what you saw, then don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up as well. But without further ado, see you next time. Bye bye for now. See ya. Hey guys, hopefully you enjoyed this new way of video that I have decided to do with the manga chapter reviews. Hopefully you guys enjoy it a little bit more. Uh, so like always, how about you check out my other previous reviews of The Promised Neverland. So you can check them on the sides here, here and it, as well. And uh, also don't forget in the video description down below there is links to my Patreon, Coffee, and and my Facebook fan page and Twitter. Just look in the video description down below and, and follow them there and support me as best as you can. But other than that... I've been your host, Kai from Cousin Take Corner, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye for now. See ya.